Those self-driving Uber cars zipping around the valley are supposed to be safe. But tonight, the company's pilot program is under some serious scrutiny after a woman was killed in Tempe Sunday night when she was hit by a self-driving vehicle. Yeah, it does make you wonder, are they safe? And would you trust your life to a computer? It sounds like we're going into the future, and it sounds like it's a good thing, but as long as there's more than humans on the road, then yeah, it's definitely going to be problems. Tempe police tell us 49-year-old Elaine Herzberg was walking her bicycle across the street along Mill Avenue south of Curry Road in Tempe when she got hit by this self-driving SUV. The woman was not in a crosswalk. Authorities say the vehicle was in autonomous mode and there was a safety driver behind the wheel, but she was unable to avoid hitting the pedestrian. Police will investigate the fatal crash as if there was a regular driver operating the car. The investigation is, is going to be similar in the fact that they are going to attempt to try to find, you know, what, uh, who was possibly at fault and how we can better be safe, whether it's pedestrians or whether it's the, the vehicle itself. This is the first fatal crash in the country involving a self-driving vehicle. Uber immediately suspended its self-driving program in the U.S. and Canada to conduct further tests and determine what caused this crash. The National Transportation Safety Board is also launching an investigation. It's really sad. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's terrible. Now, earlier today, Uber issued this statement saying our hearts go out to the victim's family. We are fully cooperating with local authorities in their investigation of this incident. And Tempe Mayor Mark Mitchell sent this out on Twitter. Our city leadership and Tempe police will pursue any and all answers to what happened in order to ensure safety moving forward. Now, police tell us the self-driving SUV was going about 40 miles an hour. Now, since the vehicle is equipped with a number of cameras and sensors, that will help greatly in helping investigators determine who is to blame for this fatal